Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that NOLA is on my bucket list. I can't wait to go there. Anyway, today is Mardi Gras and to highlight the event, I couldn't resist showcasing my take on another incredible recipe from the Big Easy. Here it is. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my version of Oysters Bienville. This appetizer is one of David's favorite, and I don't blame him. Smooth, creamy, and absolutely delicious, this is a great way to enjoy oysters besides oysters Rockefeller. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, we have to shock the oysters, and I won't go into details on how to do it because a couple of weeks ago, there was a tutorial on the subject. So to view it, click on the top right corner of your screen. So after this step is done, we'll put the mollusk in a bowl and reserve its liquor. We'll need it later. We'll keep the bottom shell as a food vessel, and I explain how to wash it on the blog, so check it out. The flat top shell, we'll discard. We don't need it. Next, we'll spread some coarse sea salt on a baking sheet and set aside. Now, in a bowl, we'll combine panko breadcrumbs and grated Parmesan cheese. We'll blend these two ingredients and set aside as well. All right, let's move on to the stove. In a cold skillet, we'll add a couple strips of bacon that we chopped into small pieces and then turn the heat to medium-high. I know it's not obvious to cut them small, but I give a little trick on the blog, so check it out. So we'll fry them until almost done. Don't overdo it, all right? Then we'll reduce the heat to medium and add shallots, red peppers, followed by green peppers and mushrooms. We'll saute the veggies for three minutes. The next ingredient we'll add is garlic and quickly saute it for one minute before adding my Creole seasoning. Wish you can get the recipe by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. Of course, we'll give a quick stir to blend. To this, we'll add butter and when it's melted, We'll add flour, then cook for two minutes, stirring constantly. We're making a roux, which will help thicken the sauce. A couple minutes later, we'll pour in some half and half, as well as dry white wine, which you can always substitute with chicken broth and our reserved oyster liquor. Now, on the website, I write a quarter cup of it, but if there's less, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll stir the ingredients very well and cook for three to four minutes or until the sauce thickens and coats the back of a spoon. Next, we'll add shrimp that we chopped into small pieces and give a quick stir before adding freshly squeezed lemon juice only the green parts of green onions, and freshly chopped parsley. We'll combine everything together. Oh my, I can take a big spoonful of it. So tempting. Hmm. And then remove it from the heat. <laughs> to this, we'll add an egg yolk, lightly beaten, and stir the mixture vigorously so the yolk doesn't cook. This step is a little risky, so if you're not used to making this dish, I recommend to let the sauce sit for five minutes before doing it. All right, now we're ready to assemble. We'll place one oyster per shell and try to match the size for each. Then we'll spoon the sauce equally on our 12 oysters, making sure they're nicely covered before transferring them onto our prepared baking sheet you might want to press the shell down in the salt to secure them. We'll generously sprinkle the breadcrumb parmesan mixture on top and for the finishing touch, we'll add some paprika. 
It helps finish the dish plus add flavor. We'll transfer it to a 425 degree preheated oven and bake for 10 minutes. But halfway through cooking, it's not a bad idea to rotate the sheet as there's always a hotter spot in the oven. We'll bake for the remaining time or until the top turns light brown and the oysters start curling around the edges. We'll remove from the heat and serve them immediately. And my friends, this is our Oysters Bienville. This recipe is so decadent. With a gorgeous cream sauce and added shrimp, plus some Creole seasoning, it's absolutely amazing. Impress your guests with this tasty appetizer at your next dinner party. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!